when we feel things beginning to pile up, things beginning to surround us, we feel overwhelmed. We hear what's happening in our world and it just feels like, really, can we have more fires? Really, can there be another hurricane? Can there be another uh, wave, another variant of the virus? And it can begin to feel like we're being surrounded by all this pessimism and negativity. Uh, we feel like we just want to cry out. And that's what's happening in Psalm 22. Psalm 22 begins, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? From the words of my groaning, Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer. And by night, but find no rest. And the psalm starts off that place, and it can feel really overwhelming. And in fact, these words were the same words when Jesus was feeling overwhelmed on the cross. Eli, Eli, my God, my God. Uh, quoting from this passage of the psalms, maybe even singing these aloud, coming back from childhood perhaps. And it's really fascinating. If you look very closely at the beginning of Psalm 22, it says, To the leader according to the deer of the dawn, a psalm of David. What a strange thing, a, the deer of the dawn. That could be that that was a melody, or perhaps a song, and they were just telling the musician how to play it because the psalms were all songs, of course. But it could also be that the deer of the dawn was the image that the singer wanted people to think about this deer that was running and being pursued on all sides, that was hungry and growing weary, that felt like there was no way out, and that deer is running back and forth and being hunted on sides. Later on, the psalm talks about bulls encir encircling and dogs encircling, and it goes through all this, but then it says, oh, but, O oh Lord, do not be far away. O oh, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. And we are like that. We're like that deer that breaks free, that jumps, that leaps. If you've ever seen a deer, I saw a deer once jump over one of our fences. And it just looked like it was flying. And I think that that's the image that we have, that we can, we can be delivered in this way, like the deer of the dawn. And it... And it closes with deliverance. It says, For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the, of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but heard, heard when I cried to him. Posterity, future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. Think about all those generations that are being affected by our decisions right now. And we can sometimes feel overwhelmed and even guilty about those things. But there is the hope. There is the promise that God will still deliver us. That God will deliver not just for us, but for future generations as well. And so be the deer that leaps, that jumps, that is free. Um, be delivered and take that grace for you today as you continue your day. God be with you. Amen.